All right, Sci-Fi Express Lane. Um, Jeff Carroll here, about to express myself on the Express Lane. And a um, co-worker of mine asked me, um, kind of, how do I get in the mood for writing? We were, we're both school teachers. And the biggest part is, you know, kind of uh, transitioning from, uh, if you're less, unless you're a professional writer, right? Transitioning from the work schedule to the um, writing schedule, from the from a working mentality to a, a writing mentality, right? And um, I don't really have a, a kind of a, any quick thing to do because it's been a struggle for me, you know. Um, however, when I do write, I don't write. Um, till the book is finished, I go to sleep, I wake up, I eat, I socialize with my family. So even if it's not work, I'm doing other things in and between writing. So I've, I've said this before, I write in stages, right? So I will write my story out. Yo, what is it that I'm going to write about? I write everything that is um, involved in my story. So I write it in a paragraph form. I tell people, but then the next stage is I always outline, you know, how, how do I space this story out so that it can be told with the peaks and valleys, the acts, the arcs, whatever it is for whatever medium that I'm going to tell it in, whether I'm going to tell it in a, a comic book, whether I'm going to tell it for a novel, or if it's going to be a screenplay, you know. Comic books, you know, have pages, um, you have to have your action and your, your your reveals in a page turn sort of way. And then, you know, screenplays have to have three arcs, you know. Um, and, and books sort of do too, but books have chapters. And so each one is different. So I identify how, what medium I'm going to tell my story in after I write the story in story form. You know, kind of not the details of it but pretty much the overall thing that's gonna happen and how it's gonna end and how it'll get to the end. So then I outline it based on whatever medium I'm gonna write it in. Those are all stages that I like to, to uh, take time with, you know? I don't just go immediately, unless the story really comes at me. I don't go immediately. I let each phase simmer, you know? So I might write my outline and then before I start writing a book, I'm meditating on the outline. I leave spaces in between because I'm going to tweak it a little bit. When I tell, when I think of my story, the first stage, I'm thinking I may tweak it a little bit. It may involve some other influences, except for the, you know, besides for the primary influence that I use to get the story idea. Um, and then I commence the writing. And then when I'm writing, um, even comic book stories. I don't necessarily, I can't necessarily write one during the week because I get off of work at three o'clock and you know, this thing's to do, it takes some time to drive home. So whatever stage that I'm writing it, I make sure I have breaks and I, if I have to finish early, just after I finish the thought or phase, then I do it. I don't try to push through things. So I enjoy the moment um, when I write I like to write books. I like to break between chapters, go to sleep, think about it, meditate, maybe even rewrite portions of that chapter or um, add things to it. And then I get on the next chapter, but I, I have I have break points, you know, and then the comic book is probably the shortest one. You know, I take time, I do my sketches, then I write my 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 dialogue based on the sketches and, and on into the script. So I might write my, all my action in my script, and then I go back and add in dialogue. Um, that's just been my system, and then I go through editing. And even in editing, I reserve the right to make changes. I mean, you know, when I did Thug Angel, I had finished writing the book, and you know, pitched it to somebody. He was like, "Nah, dude, you know, you got to hook me differently in the first three chapters." So I wrote a um, beginning you know, uh, uh, a chapter before the one that I originally started with, and that gave the hook. Um, so, it, you know, it's again like, you know, when you see movies, 
they have the scene where the the guy is using the weapon and and then the credits start and then he gets called in to use the weapon again in a bigger thing or his powers or her powers whatever it is um so that you know that is important in western you know storytelling i don't know if all the other storytelling variations do it but this is what is done here it's what also people are used to so you gotta hook them so anyway i do that but you know to be honest that's really all it is i know this is a quick blog a video blog but you know it's not rocket science and app you know i leave things out like i like to start with my titles i like to um sometimes i get a cover done whether it's a book screenplay i get some type of image that allows me to engage with my um, central ideas creatively. Um, I find that works for me. Now, if I was a full-time writer, I would probably have everything in my head so well that I might not have to take notes. But because I have to take hard breaks, and when I say a hard break, I have to divorce my thoughts fully from what I'm writing to think about something else um and and the downside is like i've been in environments when i write over the summer um before i started full-time teaching um where i would get caught up in my story so well i forget what day it was what time it was when it was time to eat you know stories and writing can and i'm not lying about that stories of writing can be so engaging you have to organize because you can get a headache when you don't eat on time you know what I'm saying um, and of course you can neglect things forget deadlines all those things to do lists that you got to do around the house the grass is going to grow the cat needs to be fed all that stuff yo believe me days will pass if you don't organize your stuff when you're writing and you will miss things so don't make your life a nightmare because of creativity and creativity can be consuming. So what you really want to do is organize yourself so that way you can take these breaks in writing and write, you know, consistently. I remember one time I wanted to make this anthology and I had two days to write 5,000 words. And at the time I had never done that. Um, now I can write 3,000 words a day, but I had never written 5,000 in two days. And the story was a little bit, um, 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 it needed some editing, but I got it done. You know, it wasn't all over the place. I didn't have to change major things, but I used my same system. Organized my outline and then moved from there. Story, outline, script, you know, manuscript, whatever it is. And it worked. So I found what works for me. Um, you need to find what works for you. And if you're building a world, you need the world build. That's part of the story. So I would do the world building before I did the outline. You can always think of the story first because that's very lucid, you know. Um, but in terms of, of outlining, you're going to be jumping around that world that you built. So you have to kind of um, have that ready in your stage before you step into writing um, your outline and stuff. And then that's it. And then the rest is editing, proofreading, review, changes, all that. Final edit, you know, um, all that. And then it, it depends on how long it is. You're going to have to take time to read and, and rewrite. So I reread and write my chapters as I go. Sometimes, I, you know, I used to do, especially with books, it's a lot. Um, but um, when I do my um, what you call it when I do my um, my um, editing I have to reread it so um, and I read my stuff myself before I give it to an editor so anyway that's it this is Jeff Carroll sci-fi express lane how do I write um, and keep working so that's um, something that I've had to learn how to do all right y'all so I'll talk to you later uh, remember like share and subscribe um oh and comment i got four things like share subscribe and comment